So I'm Peter Deppi, founder and CEO of Commute, and what we do is we make universal charging infrastructure or hubs uh, for e-scooters, e-bikes, pretty much anything micro-mobility. All right, cool, man. Yeah. And what we got here? And right here we have a Commute Smart Charging Hub. Uh -huh. So we had this running this past few months for our uh, electric scooters that were here in Flint. All right, cool, man. And so what do we do here? How do they, How does it work? So you just simply walk up and plug in your scooter, and then when you're ready to maybe go for a ride, you just scan the QR code on top of the scooter, just like any other ride share, and yeah. it unlocks both the scooter and the hub, and you're ready to go. Yeah. So the scooter's locked in right into here. Yep. And yeah, how long did the charge last? Uh, 30 miles. 30 miles? Yeah. How fast the scooters go? About 15 miles an hour. So where are we at right now? So this is uh, Commute Headquarters in Flint, Michigan. So this is the sixth floor of the Ferris wheel. All right. Working space. And you can see we got a few scooters out. Uh, we got kind of our, our storage shelving and our 3D printing uh -huh. farm behind us. Oh yeah, I've never seen the 3D printing anything. So I need to check this out. Uh, cool. what's, what's my man's name over here? So this is okay. Justin. Justin, nice to meet you, brother. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> So he's our mechanical engineering intern here at Commute. All right. Just started, what, a few weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago, three weeks ago. How do you like working with this guy? Very fun. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of things going on. Yeah. It's Good. It's a crazy yeah. like a final version. Uh-huh. So this is on the Acton scooter that you see everywhere. So this is also 3D printed. Which part? This, this, black, this black piece. So this is ours. We, we manufacture this black part. Uh -huh. The scooter we get from Acton. Um, and then we have a few other models. We have the Boosted. Rev scooter they sent to us, so Boosted, they're working with us and we're trying to develop a vehicle adapter for their scooter. Uh -huh. And then we have a few other models. We have a Segway scooter, a Xiaomi scooter, and three printers. Uh -huh. So we have... Um, and this is where you make those? those. Yep, so we have, so there's three, most of the time it's four printers on each side running. Uh -huh. um, right now we're doing some light prototyping kind of final. I just printed it this morning. And now we're just testing it to make sure it charges because we, we added the printed circuit board we had made custom for us and we're just making sure this is able to charge and everything works before we put it together and ship it off. So, yep, so we'll be launching uh, New Jersey here within the next week or two. Uh -huh. uh, so we'll be doing an install for, actually that hub right there is the one that's going to Jersey. And then they'll use the Segway scooter which is actually right in front of it. And this QR code here? Yeah. So we want it to be super, I mean, easy on the user or rider. Uh -huh. And the way it's traditionally done to just unlock a scooter that's dockless is you just scan the QR code. So we wanted to add no extra step for the user. I want to know, can I, can, can I try one of these scooters? Yeah, let's, uh, let's unlock one. Yeah? Are you, oh, you're gonna show me? Yeah. So this is for Flint. Uh-huh. So preparing the scooters. And then it'll lock or you can unlock it. A little rundown on the safety features of uh, the commute scooter. So we got bell, Need that. safety first, we got brake, and it's kind of cool. With the light. Like, with the lights, we got the blinkers. All right. And then here's the throttle. So right now it won't go because it's it's stationary, but if you put up the kickstand. There's a kickstand on So a kickstand right here. So put up the kickstand. Uh -huh. And then once you get rolling, you can press down and then the mo motor will engage. Okay. So you like that. Dope. What? Uh, this here? Yep, right there. I press down? Yep. I gotta scoop first. Yeah, so you'll give it a kick or two, get rolling. Oh. There you go. You get enough, the better. Once you get up to speed, it's actually pretty easy. Oh, there you this go. This is Flint. <laughs> this entrepreneurship in Flint. I mean, I think we're always looking for people that are excited and believe in our vision mm -hmm. and want to join the team and see us succeed together. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're looking for and help, help Flint be seen more in a positive light and change uh, the community. Instead of the vehicle city, we want to make it the mobility city.